Good deal's dried up. What's with that? We're out here at the site of one of my favorite stores, now gone, but a new store has risen. risen. We're at the Klein Greenhouse, where Building 19 used to be. Building 19, one of my favorite bargain stores, very sad, still miss it a ton. That was the cheapest of the cheap. But this store, uh, it's interesting, Building 19 always bought them in for uh, Christmas trees and- Really? They've been um, around that long? Yeah, now that Building 19 is well gone, um, they've taken over. You can still see around here, tremendous remnants of uh, Building 19, it's everywhere around. The bizarre signage. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, don't push don't shove. Plenty of room on the inside. You will view the magnificent wonders of our unique emporium. You will be amazed at articles gathered from the far corners of this great earth, offered at savings which are... Which are? This is where I actually come to get most of my gardening stuff. It's in the middle of New Bedford. I'm more of an indoor plant kind of gal. They don't so have too much in the way of indoor, but maybe you'll see something that catches your eye. I was just here last night, Frankie, because I bought some new stuff, and a lot has been cleared out today. That's cool. They call them Fort Couture. This is a coleus. I didn't know that. Under the sea seaweed. Wow. I am a huge fan of coleus. I love them. These are designer plants. They're probably not quite as hardy. They probably won't do as well in the long term. Really, there's only a couple months till the frost anyway, where all the stuff's going to die. <laughs> so, see, I tried to grow some of these, but they all died because I co-planted them with marigolds, and that doesn't work, and it's not interesting at all. The marigolds will release an oil into the soil, which kills everything else. I could go my whole life, never have one plant. you just be fine with a sand yard. I'm not saying I want to wish away all plant life on the planet. <laughs> just, there's no reason at all to have them in my home or outside my home. Oh, you're ridiculous. This is kind of cool. I like impatience a lot because you see there's still lots of buds coming up. How much is the question? And there's no signage anywhere. What would you pay? Three bucks. And that's a pretty good deal. And it might be the price of these. You could grow stuff here, but you need a lot of facility for it. This is just the show floor. How much was it? Five ninety nine or two for 10. And it's kind of in poor condition. It's past season by about a month. Thank you for shopping by building 19. What the? I planted some of these this year and they just came up this past week and I got one leaf on each of the plants. Are you maintaining those well? And you don't have to do any maintenance. You water them now and then, which I do. They're supposed to come up in a little bundle like these. But no, I got one leaf. I should have just came here and bought them like this and planted them like Did this. Did the winter moths? Get underground maybe. I don't know. We could have. Frankie and I can just come here and buy a bunch and go to your house at night when you're sleeping <laughs> and replace them all. Maybe that's what somebody's yeah, I mean, already done. How much for one? I don't know. This is a six inch and they're $10, which seems but, pricey. Very pricey. I was just here last night. I got really good deals and the good deals dried up. What's with that? Yesterday they had a ton of herbs for very, very cheap and they've, they've gotten rid of them completely. Bargain yeah. zone ahead. Yield for bargains. Shop for savings. More than ever. Good stuff cheap. It's prickly. It, it, it's firm. It's got some, some strength to it. I quite like these over here. These are the fall plants. I used to plant like lavender and chamomile, all the smelly stuff because I thought I was going to make oils or soaps. Yeah. I never did because I'm lazy, but it's kind of a girl thought to think that you can sure. use things. I'd like to grow lavender and I'm not even a girl. Well. Is that a type of black eyed Susan? Oh, black Susan. Man, man, oh, black I'm going to say yes. These are kind of pretty, but they've clearly gone by. They've seeded. They've seceded to the union. It's another New Guinea impatient. Growing out of a coffee mug. These are not something you normally see around here. High fashion plants. Yeah, irisine. The leaves are kind of cool. They get variegated. Very nice. They're super strong. They look plastic. Super strong. If you pick one up, you can see just how unruly the plants are. Whoa. Some of them are massive, like this one. I like it just for its eccentricity. It's a coleus time of the year. Orange symphony, it's already bloomed. And it was a bittersweet symphony. <laughs> I like doing this reference. Oh, you know what I can tell people from now on when they're they're like, are you filming? I usually say, no, I'm playing Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> right? You totally could. You gotta catch them all. Pokemon. I kind of want to get one of those purple ones up front there. Purple up front. Purple up front. Purple up front. I'll have a purple up front. It's cash only here. Or check. Um, you want to write a personal check? You got Take 45 minutes to check out. I'm a vision in coolness. That's right. This is another one of those hort couture branded plants. This has a California it feel. It does. It looks like you shouldn't eat these. Do you get a purple up front? See, the thing is, I don't really want two purples up front. But to get a good price, you gotta buy two purples up front. How much for two? Ten. It's a junk change. I would get a purple up front. You'd get a purple up front? And then we can split the cost. That sounds great. Oh, two purple up fronts. Two dollars saved. Nina's picking her purple up front. 
I've got a purple up front, but I'm still looking. What goes into the selection process? Uh, number of flowers, health of the leaves, especially in the lower half. I like the consistency, so I don't want any that are kind of outliers. I, th I think this is my choice. I'm gonna get a good feel. Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. I might find one that I want to, I want to do good things for. Nina likes the one that's really high up. I like the, the one that's all out of place. I prefer mine to be I don't more want it in to be place. Too How much do you have to pay in tax? Uh, 61 cents for the two of us, so 31 cents a piece. Fortunately, the tag and title were free in this case. You learned the name of the plant? Yes, the Globe Amaris. You can cut them and dry them. Have you ever seen these dried before? I'm gonna stick with purple up front. Purple up front. We'll name the variety purple up front. Do we take a very brief stroll around the shitty flea market? Oh, I don't want to. He doesn't want to. I've been to that flea market before. I'm a little concerned, frankly. The Malasadish women, they've done a great job for so many years. They're, they're getting older, and I don't see any new generation There's no one being to take trained. up the reins. Hey. Did they actually have free coffee? Oh yeah, totally. They have this weird little station, and my dad would always stop and get like just these regular white styrofoam cups and walk around with coffee that had probably been sitting there for hours. Because on the sign, they're making fun they're of They're making fun of like how it's bad gross, it was. It's gross, Yeah, but they always had it. It was a staple. Like you can get <laughs> That's hilarious.